Hey guys, welcome back to another Trade It video. I hope you're having a good day. But today, we're going to be discussing a bit of Counter-Strike lore or Counter-Strike skins lore. And we're going to be talking about the Blue Gem Karambit. Now, for those of you who know a little bit about this skin, it's a very, very rare skin and a very, very sought after skin. And uh, that's kind of told in the fact that you can earn over $1 million from this skin alone. It is perhaps, if not, one of the most expensive skins in the game and offers for the knife have exceeded one and a half million US dollars. Now there might be more expensive ones here and there but if you want one skin that's kind of consistently up there with the price and it's kind of heralded amongst most of the community then it would probably be this skin. Now it's uh, obviously looking quite striking but in my opinion it's uh, perhaps not the most good looking skin in the game. I think the, the outstanding factors that drive the price up is the fact that it is one of the rarest skins in the game, being that Karambits are pretty rare on their own from cases, but the case hardened skin has a very, very uh, wide range of patterns that can come. And so the blue gem is one of those patterns that is even more rare than getting a knife itself. It is a symbol of status in the game, and so that will drive the price up. Demand is very high, and uh, it does look fairly good. I, I will give it that. Now, to talk a little bit about the skin itself. So, obviously, I've mentioned the blue gem pattern is quite rare. That pattern for this knife is the pattern 387, and it's known as the god pattern for this one. There are other blue gem available patterns for this skin, but the kind of top tier is that 387 that you're looking for. However, there are different tiers to it. So the tier one patterns would be 73, 269, 321, 442, 507, 776, 853, 902, and 955. And then there are even tier two, tier three, and tier four blue gem patterns. Now I'm not gonna go over all of them because we'd be here all day. Uh, but if you want to see what the different patterns are and kind of learn a little bit more in depth, then feel free to go to the Trade It blog that's linked below. But talking a little bit more about the actual skin itself, um, the blue gem is so sought after because of a kind of heralded kind of angelic baby blue that you see on the blade. And it's not quite accented by the yellow that you get with the other case hardened patterns. It does have a bit of eye catchingness to it, but with the vibrancy of the blue. And uh, so that kind of leads to the halo effect you might see around it. Now talking a bit about the symbology and the prestige, interestingly, the title for the most expensive CS2 knife skin belongs to New Brage, who is a Chinese collector, whose Japanese name translates to Blue King. And so I think you can kind of see where it's going. And uh, it's so coveted that of course, you know, it's been offered $1.5 million. But talking a little bit about the odds. So um, the odds of getting the Karambit in a case is or even a blue gem is one in a hundred thousand cases and the odds of getting a 387 god pattern blue gem is one in 387 million cases now that is an insane value but even if you get the right pattern another thing that you're going to want to consider is the float now the float ranges go from 0 to 1, with a lower float being better condition, and with the blue gem, its costs are going to vary greatly according to the float value. So if you're going to have a 0 0.00 value blue gem karambit with uh, any of the even lower tier patterns, you might even get $2,500 for that. With uh, even a 0 0.06 where value blue gem getting 1.5 grams. So just getting a blue gem on its own can be a pretty big payday. Now, considering some of the other notable and expensive blue gems, there is a, another one, another blue gem karambit, not quite the god tier pattern, but I think it's a tier one pattern going for a staggering $120,000. And blue gems of the highest tiers, especially the 387 pattern, do often go for over a million dollars, maybe even one and a half million dollars right now. So, say you want to get a blue gem of any kind. It's probably a good idea if you want to get a blue gem karambit or any blue gem to, uh, you know, get some outside sources, get some input from 
noticeable traders because it is quite easy or it can be hard to trade these kinds of skins um, effectively to their value and just avoiding scams is also uh, quite hard so they are quite rare they are quite valuable and sought after so there are you know traders and collectors who you could probably reach out to and there might even be some on the uh, trade it blog some tips for you to go through if you want to buy some so uh, in summary the karambia blue gem is a rare and highly prized treasure it's distinctive it has an aesthetic charm to it and it's very very high in value unboxing this knife however is uh, not so easy and so if you're gonna manage or go and attempt to unbox it Definitely do your research for the highest likely cases that it'll drop in. Of course, you need to unbox cases that have karambits in them in the first place. So do your research. And if you're going to be trading or buying them, make sure you do your research as well. But for now, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe and put a comment down below for your favorite skin. I'll see you in the next one.